Welcome to the City of Santa Monica's guide for logging into our Project Docs system. This guide will walk you through the process of logging into Project Docs, as well as show you how to view your projects and tasks once you have successfully logged in. The first step for getting started on any project in Project Docs is to view the email invitation you will receive automatically from the system once your project has been created by city staff. Staff will create the project when they receive a completed plan check application from you for a new project. The invitation email comes from a generic email address, do not reply at smgov.net, so please make sure that it does not end up in your junk email folder since it's your ticket into the system. Also note that you cannot reply to this message, so if you do have questions or concerns, please contact city staff directly. For first-time users, the invitation will include a temporary password that you will use to access the system during your initial login. The invitation email also includes your project number so that you will know exactly which project you are receiving this message for. We recommend that you highlight the temporary password, copy it, and then click on the link at the bottom of the message to log in to Project Docs. This will open the login window in your web browser. Please note that this version of Project Docs works on any web browser and with any operating system. So regardless of whether you are on a Mac or PC, using Firefox, Internet Explorer, Chrome, or any other browser, Project Docs will work equally well on any of them. From the login screen, enter your email address in the email field, then paste your temporary password into the password field and click on the login button. For returning users, simply enter your email address and password to log in. If you cannot remember your password, please click on the Forgot Your Password link to be taken to a password recovery page. You will be asked to produce a response to a security question before a new password can be sent to you. Please remember that the answer to the security question is case sensitive. After clicking on the login button, New users will immediately be prompted to create a new password. Once this new password has been created, you will then be ready to start using the system. The first screen you will be taken to when you log into Project Docs is the Project screen, which is essentially your home screen. Your 15 most recently viewed projects will be displayed in the Active Permits list in the top portion of the screen. This view defaults to recent projects but if you don't see your project here, simply click on the All Projects button at the top of the Active Projects list to view all of the projects you have in the system. Notice that if you have more projects in the system than can be displayed on one page, you can use the arrow navigation buttons in the bottom left corner of the Active Projects list to move between pages or even jump to the first or last page in the list. The Active Projects list provides the essential information for your projects, including the project number, the description of work, the date it was created, the owner of the project, and the current status. To view your pending tasks, look down at the Project Flow task list in the bottom portion of the screen. Any tasks that have been assigned to you and are awaiting completion will show up in this list. You can see the type of task it is, the project it's for, the status of the task, either pending or accepted, the priority level, as well as the creation date and the due date for this task. That was just a brief overview of the project screen. To get back to this screen at any time, click on the projects button on the taskbar at the top of the window. Thanks for watching this guide on logging into Project Docs. If you would like help with other aspects of our Project Docs system, Please view the other videos in this series for further information.